we are in the middle of Wales, as you can see. We have come for Mark II GTI seats. They are very cheap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 160. 160 English pounds. 160 English pounds? 160 purple ones later. Well, it wouldn't be 160 purple ones because 120 is a purple one. So eight purple ones later. Eight purple ones later. And we are in the middle of Wales and we are about to buy Mark II GTI seats. I have no idea if these are even gonna fit. I have no idea what condition they're in, but they're 160 pounds and they're probably quite sought after, hard to get. We'll see. I think they're very affordable and I think straight away it needs front seats. Let's go and have a look at these seats. We will probably, if anything, buy the seats. If we buy them, we'll see you at home where we're gonna be installing them. So stay tuned, I hope you're enjoying. Make sure you hit me up in the comments with any suggestions, ideas, or if you wanna talk about anything, I'm gonna be replying to all comments. See you back at my place. Peace. Check it. So we just got home from Wales. It was an absolute mission. We have Golf GTI seats. To be honest, I'm not really a wizard on old school golf seats. I could have just been lied to and they might not even be GTI seats, but to be honest, I'm really happy with them. Basically, the only bad bit on the driver's seat is the baluster. So what I'm going to do is shove some sponge and foam up and try and beef it out a bit as a quick fix. I'm going to give them a proper good clean and we're going to get them in the, in, the, uh, in the golf for the rest of this video. I'll show you the passenger one. The passenger one obviously is always kind of the way but it is in way way better condition almost as a dialed the only two little bit the only two little marks we've got one little tiny rip there which i'm not too bothered about and one tiny little rip here on this baluster which i'm not that bothered about either i haven't actually oh my god i've seen guys comfy now aren't they oh, better than what's in it i know for sure so i'm hyped so basically we're gonna now install these into the golf and then in the rest of this video and then the banded steelies are happening on friday i'm gonna order an exhaust and try and fit it myself i'm gonna try and borrow someone's ramp does anyone in the northwest want to borrow me their ramp to be underneath it um and then i think the car will be running totally different in the next video as well on the golf maybe the banded steelies video we're actually gonna do the throttle cable the throttle cable's horrendous it's so bad i wish you could even just feel it i wish there was a possibility for you to put, put your foot on a pedal and do this with me on the youtube channel but that's never gonna happen so anyways, let's install the seats. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow in the... Let's install the seats. Let's do take two. We'll go good and then cut to a new one. The beast! <laughs> Well, that's not good, is it? Excuse me, mate, you can't park here. What do you reckon that is? <laughs> Broken. We're taking it around the block. <laughs> well, it's sick, this thing, you know. I rang up the insurance yesterday. I was paying £1,600 for the A45 AMG. I swapped it to this and it was £1,100, which I thought was very expensive for like a... It's not actually technically classed as a classic car, I don't think. I went on a comparison site and the same company would insure me for £190 if I just cancelled that one and reinsured it to £191. That's so cheap. That's like £19, one pence. £19, ten pence across ten months. Is it? What actually is so fun to drive. That was sick around the block then. Steering wheel feels cool. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, so properly good. sick. Today we've got to take these mounts out. Long story short, this frame needs to come out. How do you think you take this out, guys? Because it's not bolted in the front lock. That's what I was saying. Oh, right, so it must be something to do with these aluminium brackets at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, they're not even, they're, they're not even. They're definitely cunliffed in. I think all cunliffs done with this is screwed these bolts in here and they've tightened it. That way, yeah. On that. Do you yeah, get what yeah. I mean? Yeah, I'm with That's you. probably bad for the rails as well, isn't it? Uh, no, it should be all right. So what we're going to do, we are going to take these frames out, test fit one of the seats. If it fits and it's perfect and everything's decent, I'm going to take the seat back out. I'm going to hoover all the floor, clean it all up. Not like a, f a final valet, but just because I can. 
whilst I'm putting them in I'm going to clean all the floor with a hoover and then what I want to do is I want to grease all the rails and get all the rails in better condition because the rails look pretty sketchy just look normal like normal car rails but I wouldn't mind them running super smooth so let's do this first thing I'm going to do we're going to get a socket and we're going to take this this out some people asked in the comments what socket set I've been using so basically I'm just using a Halford socket set this is something that I bought years ago. We have Gazers as well, which is also a Halford socket set. I think they're pretty good, actually. Um, obviously, I'm not crazy into car mods and stuff yet. Well, I am really into it, but I've not been doing it a long time, so I'm just using the Halfords one. Maybe I'll get a better one in the future. Um, something else a lot of people commented yesterday, which I found really cool, was the heat gun method for this. The one thing that scares me about doing the heat gun, I know, I know that it will bring them back to black, but I think because they've been so dried out, and so UV burns. So I think that's I think it's UV off the sun dries them out, and the oils go off the top surface. What I'm a little bit nervous about using a heat gun because of is number one, I don't want to bubble them and melt them too much. Number two, I think it'll be a good first fix. So I think to begin with, they'll come out really black, and then I think about a month later they might crack and stuff like that. Because you have to think a heat gun is actually damaging the plastic. So I am a little bit nervous. I do appreciate massively that it would work, but I think I'm going to try and use um, a lot of people. Probably the second two most commented things, there was like 800 comments, and the two most commented things other than the heat gun were C4. Um, that's a, a trim restorer stain. I'm going to use that. And a lot of other people said shoe polish as well, which I think is a very good idea. And it wouldn't surprise me if a lot of the trim restorers are actually shoe paste, shoe polish basically in a bottle. It smelled the same, didn't it? It did smell the same. We went and smelt one before, but we're going to do that at a later date. Today's about the seat, so I just wanted to say thanks for commenting. If you've got any ideas for the Golf, hit me up in the comments below. Um, Engine-wise, a lot of people commented 1.8 Turbo Lump VR6 R32. Right now, I'm going to try and do everything other than the engine. Get it running nice, learn the car, and then put an engine in at a later date. So, we will see. What else did a lot of people comment? Um, wheels. Wheels. Did they? We found somewhere to do banded steelies and we're dropping them off tomorrow or the next day to be done. They've got the original steelies in the back of the van and we are doing some van mods. Something that was really cool that some people commented was to put fishing wire on the back of these and just do that till they come off and then heat gun and buff them off. And then I'm going to get a carbon badge and press plates. I've actually got a private plate upstairs that in the house that I've never used. It's just been on retention for like 10 years or something. Um, it's basically HMO3 BMX, so I might just use that because I don't have any, I don't have like, I don't, I don't use it on anything and I don't need to spend any money to have a private plate. So, it doesn't, doesn't look that private, I actually bought it for an R32 years ago, but I might use it again. You find a lot of car stops, 13, don't you? You do. 13, 15, 17, 19. I don't really get how these seats have gone in, but I'm guessing. The old Cunliffe mod. <laughs> Some people commented and asked me about the bucket seat. I wouldn't recommend them to anybody. Somebody was like, yo, can I have the bucket seat for my polo? In yesterday's comments. I mean, I'm all up for it. You can have the bucket seats for the polo, but... There's only one of them. There's only one of them, yeah. yeah we do have a bit of movement here. Oh, I see what's going on here. Once you've loosened them, do you reckon they slide out backwards then? No. Yeah, you might need to loosen that other side. Oh, no, nah, they've got more. like plates in. Isn't it? Yeah. Some people watching this are probably like, why the hell is he doing that that way? Can I honestly say as well, I know I want to reference this. I have owned Nissan GTRs. I have owned cool RS3s, A45s. And I will say something right now. There's nothing more satisfying than working on an old Volkswagen, and I actually mean that from the bottom of my heart. Money can buy you pleasure, but not long-lasting happiness. And I feel like if you commit to something really old, like a Volkswagen Golf, and you do it up and you restore it, I feel like with age, it gets better, which is really cool. I just wanted to say that, because I know a few people were commenting saying, yo, where's the GTR? All my other cars are sold. These are the only two vehicles I currently own, and we have Gaz's Polo as well. Living the dream. But, I have been thinking a lot about getting a lot of crazy cars at the moment, actually. I'm feeling pretty inspired with the reaction that it's been getting on the channel. <laughs> okay, should we test fit? Oh, actually, we haven't got a 10mm bolt for this, have we? Oh, no. 
Has that got a thread in it or what? Maybe we could use one of these. Oh, what about this? Do you this by any chance is the 10mm bolt? No, not a chance. Is it? Yeah. Is it actually? No, I don't think, I don't think, that, I don't, I don't think that's got a thread in it. Okay, stay there. We're going to try and find a long 10mm bolt or something to rig it. Because it needs some form of a bolt. If anybody's watching who's got who's ever had an old Volkswagen, you would probably know like the back of your hand this setup, which is the front bolt once the rails have slid in. It's pretty simple to put a seat in by the looks of it. But we are missing this bolt. So for now we'll probably rig something up. But do you know what's supposed to go in there? Comment below. I'm gonna be replying to all comments again today. It is quite time consuming, but I actually really like that we've got similar interests. The car content's the easiest content to reply to. Just because people are actually really helpful and informative. It's really cool. Have you got any seats or bolts or anything for this? Let me know. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this one with me because we're gonna go and buy a bolt that's a tiny bit longer than that. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go and buy one from B&Q. A bolt that's a tiny bit longer than that and that fits through the base bit that hooks the seat on. So let's go, let's go to the shop. This is annoying that we've got to go out, but it is what it is. It's gonna be a fast fix once we get this dialed and we need two for the front of that one. Oh yeah. <laughs> let's go. Okay, 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 okay. I've got a question to ask every single person who's watching this YouTube video right now. I'm new to this car mod game. I'm coming to B&Q for bolts. Is there somewhere better to go for bolts like this than B&Q in the UK? I know some are going to say Halfords, but I feel like it's a lot more expensive. It's not as budget and DIY. Or is B&Q just the best place? Okay, let's find a bolt. Stay there. We have these. Quite long. They're going to be long enough. What we're going to do is make them and then cut them back. Because basically, we needed fresh bolts for the front seats. So basically, we've got them. They come with bolts and then some washers to make sure they definitely fit nice. I'm making sure this full car build is dialed. So basically we've got washers, bolts. Basically what we're gonna do is put it in, tighten it all up, and then cut it back. Stay tuned, let's see you back at the house. Guys, bring what? the camera in. I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. Tell them what you ate this morning for breakfast. Tell them, you say I ate all of them for breakfast. I ate all those for breakfast. It's so bad, you will die. <laughs> so will you eventually. We all will. Exactly. Unless you're a golf, then you never die. Let's see if Cunliffe's central locking is as trustworthy as he did. He gave me a full, a full lesson on it, didn't he? Yeah. It worked. It hasn't been working the last couple of days. Right, first thing we're going to do, we're just going to test fit one of the seats. Then once we've done that, we're going to clean up the rails. I have some really good grease for like mountain bike parts and BMX parts. I'm just going to put some of that in the runners. Just after I've cleaned them all up and made them nice again. It's gonna be cool. At a later date, I really want to like actually paint them, get them back to the, the actual restoration condition. But first, I just want to test fit the seats. Let's do this. Here we go. Does it fit? <gasps> <laughs> Jesus! Seat, test fit, number one. Question is, are they really? Mark one golf seats, we will find out. Now they really, I think they were Mark 1 golf seats, did you say in the end? Um, I think so, I'm not sure. I kind of couldn't really get to the bottom of what he was saying they were. I think they're Mark 2 GTI seats actually. I'm sure. Oh my god. We are fit. in. They fit. They are so close to these fitting right now. They're in. Really? No way. It looks better. Look that. So much better. Okay, now what we're going to do, you're probably not even really going to be able to see this. Basically, I don't know how much of this you can see. Yeah, they can see your hands, just not your face. Okay, so, I'm gonna put a washer in there, a bolt straight through, oh, I hope it doesn't hit that thing. For now, it'll be okay though, won't it? Does that come off? No. No, that's your adjuster, is it? Yeah, but I feel like the spring might have come off there because it's sitting rather low. Oh my God, this is so comfy. Do you know what I mean? I feel like the spring might have come off. Oh, right, maybe. Okay, so basically I've just figured something out. I think the guy who sold us the seat said that there was a 10mm bolt that went in here, which is why we went and bought these bolts to go there. Okay, look, you got this bolt here, like this. But, I don't think he was actually right. I actually feel like the seat goes on this through here, but attached to 
that, which would make a lot of sense. But basically, anyway, let me just explain. I think that needs to sit on, that needs to sit in that somehow. So basically, I feel like that needs to sit on that, so that basically it does that, which makes a lot of sense. Yeah, 100%. Yes. Look, so you go like that, pull mm -hmm. it out. So basically, it doesn't even sit on a 10 mil runner here. That was just a complete lie. Maybe if you want them fixed, it does. Or maybe he's talking about bucket seats. It's crazy that they're nearly not even bolted in then. Yeah, I know. Old golf seats. That is really crazy. Because that way, it'd go like this. So maybe we need to clean all the runners out. Yeah, that's how you do it. Know what I mean? Yeah. And then you need to clean all the runners out, grease them all. Get everything sliding nice, and then have that thing in. This is gonna be good. Watch. Ah! <sighs> These seats, I hate them. I can't get away from it. Look, it won't come out the runner now. Basically, we took all the bolts off. We took the front bolt off. It's just in this one side. I think the bolt is catching on in the back of the runner, which is grim. Right, look, so the spring, we need to find a spring for that one. Has anyone got a oh, spring? There's one there. The spring's on it? Yeah. Oh, the spring's on it. So this will work. Result. The beast. Result. Okay, what we're going to do now, we're going to give this a good clean before we... I want to say we're going to test fit them today. The reason why I want to do this is because basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up, I'm going to get all these sanded down nice so that the runners run nice and smooth with some oil in there. Grease, more likely than oil, because it lasts longer. Then what we're going to do is we're actually going to do it, install them all. And then maybe this weekend when I've got a bit more time and I'm not chasing the upload YouTube, I'm going to take them back out because it's super easy. And I'm going to repaint these with Hammerite, where I can spend time and not get it on the carpets. Whereas if I paint them all now, you're not going to want to watch me paint. So we'll do that at a later date. It'd be like watching paint dry. be like watching paint dry. Okay, I'm using Muck Off, which is a bio-grease waterproof eco-friendly bicycle grease but i'm guessing if it works on mountain bikes in the hills it works very well on the bottom of this seat so basically i've greased all the runners i decided to just do it to see if they run nice and steady i'm greasing all of this and now let's do a legit test fit once i know these fit then on the weekend when i've got a lot more time i'm going to take them out and fully restore the actual seat as in get like all of that dialed get this clipped back on nice Get all these back to black, scrub them down, paint them with a bit of hammerite, all of these. I'm gonna get this thing looking legit. Oh wait man, that could be it. Is that it? I think so. Oh my god. It's not actually that bad that you know. <laughs> Someone said if these go missing, then that's when the seats rock. These. If these go missing, now I think there's one missing on the driver's seat, which is crusty. Check it. So that one's gone missing off the driver's seat. So I have a question to all of you Volkswagen heads. Where can I find one of them? VW Heritage, I'm thinking, could be a good place to start. But I'm not 100% on the Volkswagens. If you know anybody who's got one of them, hit me up. I'll swap you for something. Stickers. Check out how rusty the bottom of the seat is. It's only a bit of metal like, but you watch. Next time we pull these seats out, I'm gonna show you how, how blacked out the bottom is. I'm going to get all that off with a wire brush. I'm going to paint it with hammerite and get it legit again. This is good. And I need one of them, please. If someone's got one, please. <laughs> please, please. And I'll be back in a minute once it's all done to slide it in. Last but not least, the driver's seat. Feels pretty rough without that thing in. Yeah, it looks a bit. Without the white thing in. Mm. Can you tell the difference about the plastic? Not really. That's so much better than the bucket seat. Oh my god. Nuts! Nuts! No turbo. No, no turbo. Oh my god, that's sick. Looking a bit crusty on the side there. Yeah. Needs painting black with hammerite or something. Simplicity is key though. Nice, no, so okay. much better. I'm gonna take it for a drive in the seat. Yeah, man. Okay, this is gonna be the end of today's video. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you are as hyped as I am. On the seats. Oh my god, do you feel a bit higher? I like it. I'll see you tomorrow, 6.45 pm ish.